folks, I had a subscriber ask a very good question. I'm going to go flip over to it here, and we'll mask out his name and everything. But he has sent me this picture that he shot with his GoPro from a uh, 3DR solo. And you can see the fisheye lens effect going on here. And he's asking, can he get rid of that in Premiere Pro? So the answer is, yeah, kind of, sort of. Now, this is a photo you're working with here to my good friend. And um, so, you know, my initial question was, well, it might be better done in Photoshop. I'm going to go to Photoshop and show maybe how we could do this. Here's this reservoir shot here. So there it is. I'm going to maybe zoom in just a little bit on that. Let's just get, I don't want to get too close. Now, he has sized this down. He shot this thing in 4K, but he sized it down so he could email it to me easier. There actually is a filter in here for uh where is it where is it lens correction here's lens correction see we click on this and we can go to uh i need to what it's done is pull up a dialog box that is bigger than it needs to be and there we go and we can see that i've got gopro selected it actually i think photoshop actually recognized that, that was gopro so we can go to hero 4 black and look at what it did automatically there it went ahead and it, it corrected it right or pretty darn close to it and that's not bad so it might be that for my buddy, that that's really all he needs to know is that Photoshop might do that for photos. I have a sinking suspicion, though, that he also wants to know how to do this for video. So I'm going to close this. I'll say don't save. And we're going to go over here to Premiere. And so I've already brought in the reservoir shot. There it is. And there it is with its curvature and everything. And so I, yeah, my, my first thought with this is, well, this is 4.3. This is, this is, he's got, I'm sure on his original, which he sized down, this is 4,000 pixels wide this way, 3,000 here. So 4.3, 4.3 sequ or, you know, size. So I went and just for the heck of it, I made a 4,000 by 3,000 that I could test this with, right? So you, you see I hover over that, I've made, a, uh, a sequence that is 4,000 by 3,000. I did that by choosing a red RD3 sequence, which you can go ahead and you can tell it to be any size you want it to be. If anybody doesn't understand how to do that, yeah, let me know. I can tell you how to and make another video and show, or I may have already made a video that shows how to do it. So this sequence three is the 4K sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the video or the photo down into it. It's gonna be t but I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna, just for the sake of, uh, of uh you know i clicked on effect controls here for the sake of testing and we're going to blow this thing way up so that it would be just like it was if it came off of his uh in 4k we're going to imagine this is 4k but it's not so there are some controls here for doing lens correction if you type a lens into this browser over here uh l-e-n-s you, you see what comes up it comes up a lot of stuff. You got DJI for you got your various different ones for Phantom Twos and all that. So these are the the proprietary cameras that come with those. And you got your Hero Hero set. And so to me, looking at this, this I know 1440 is. I'm looking here for 4K, but it doesn't show it for the Hero Four, does it? I, I tried some of these. I tried the 1440, which I know is a uh, is a 4.3 set set up. So I pull it onto here. And then it does give me, uh, you see it, it automatically did a little bit of correction there. But then you got this curvature button. You can go here, I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna go backward with this. And watch what happens, see? It is, well, let's wait till it renders back. It lessens that. It will only go back to 100. So once that renders out, you'll see you still got a pretty sizable bit of curvature here. Now this is something, so I, you know, I don't know, I don't know if this would make him happy. But I'm imagining that if he's shooting um, 4K video, it won't be this. It would be more like 4K in 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 169 aspect. So this is just me test trying to figure out what my friend might need here. I, I made the sequence too, and if, as I hover over it here, you'll see it. It's 1920 by 1080. So that is a a 169, not a 43 aspect. So I've got sequence two here, and so I brought the image in here. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to scale it up to where it fills up the screen. I'll get rid of all the black, right? So there you still got your massive curvature, but you've got what you might really more like watch on a video. You're not going to be watching 4.3. You're usually going to be watching 16.9. So what I'm thinking now then is I can pick a medium, a 1080p medium and put it on this uh, from this, from this, effect set over here and so it, it changed it just a little bit but check this out now now we go to curvature and we slide this baby back and now i think it's working really good now here's what i'm going to do 
I'm going to position this down a little bit so we can see that horizon a little better. And look at that now. I'm going to go back a little bit more here. So somewhere along in 70, 72, 73, looks like it gets rid of that. So I would think that the, uh, the solution for my friend, if he's doing video, would be to take his 4.3 video or, or his 16.9 video, whatever else, that he shot with his GoPro, pull it into one like this, and then, yeah, get rid of almost all that, and it should look just fine. You know, we're looking, at, again, at this low resolution. This is only an 800 by 600 pixel image. But if we were to look at this at, at high resolution, if he shot this in 4K, pulled it into a 1080p or whatever, left it in 4K, and then did this kind of distortion on it, I think it would be just fine and be totally cool looking. So that's my bit of a tip that someone else may have a better way to do that. That's okay. Just sharing my little touch of knowledge that I have. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. If you have a better idea or a better suggestion how you could get rid of this sort of distortion, just let me know. Chime in. Maybe you could direct us to another video as well. Thank you for watching.